Hey, I've seen you working out at Gary's gym, haven't I? Sure. Real early in the morning? Carl. Uh, Carl... Molino. Yeah, right. Hey, you're really something to watch, I'll tell you. You're really special. You're gonna give the king a run for his money. Sorry? The contest. The king of the beach contest? Oh, no. I just train for myself. I don't compete. What? You gotta be crazy. You could wipe the floor with those other guys. <laughs> I mean, all the work you've done? Take a look at yourself. You're amazing. What a waste if you don't get anything for it. $3,000? Like that? Unless, of course, you don't need the prize money. Everyone needs that kind of money. Well, you're practically there already. Your only real competition is the king, and he's... He's gotten lazy, soft, everybody says so. They want some fresh blood, somebody good. That's you. Oh, no. I've got other plans. Well, suit yourself. But I just didn't have you pegged as a guy who's happy working for minimum wages in a dump like this. Not with your looks. I got a nice place, Ma. I've made friends. I'm sure they're from very nice families. Pop, it's a great place for my restaurant. You'll see it. No! I don't want you and Ma to come out and help. Ma, stop crying. It's not gonna work this time. Pop, tell Ma to stop crying. It'll be open in a month. I don't need your money. Because I've got it already. That's right. It's already taken care of. Look, I gotta go. I've got a date. Yeah, Ma, very nice girl. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, Pop. Bye. I guess they must love you a lot, huh? Too much. All my life, they hear for me, they talk for me, they think for me. Too much. Is that why you left? They want me to come back. They figured everyone's making fun of their kid. It hurts them. What about you? People don't make fun of a winner. That's what I'm going to be. Are you out looking for more work? Yeah. Painting storefronts doesn't pay much. I'm not too good at anything else. But I'm not going to let them take care of me anymore. I'm going to get that money. If I have to steal it, I'm going to get it. King of the beach, ha. Push it. Push it. Push it. Pretty hot, isn't it? At least he thinks so. See, it's all in how he carries himself. Self-confidence. You've got it, too. I've seen you. You know when you're working out and you don't think that anybody's looking at you and you know you look terrific? I don't. Yes, you do. It's okay. You should be proud of yourself. You've got it, you know? You're a head taller than that phony. You've got more style. You're a natural. It doesn't seem right, does it? He's got his pick of anybody. He's got nice clothes, fancy cars. Of course, you'd have better taste. But he's got ambition. I've got ambition. Where's he going to be in 10 years, five years? I don't know. If he's lucky, he'll manage the gym. If he's not, he'll be a bouncer or pumping gas, bragging with a big shot he used to be. 
I'm gonna be the king of the Italian restaurants, not a muscle-bound husband. Oh, Carl, with $3,000, you could get your restaurant that much sooner, plus some of his fringe benefits. Look, I could take care of all the business stuff. All we need is, what, $500 for the entry fee, plus a couple hundred more for wardrobe, promotion, get some flyers, get some T-shirts made up, get a couple of gorgeous girls with bikinis to put them in. That's almost $1,000. That's all I've got. Oh, you can triple your investment, more than triple it with local endorsements. Get bigger prizes if you want. Go on to bigger contests. You could be Mr. West Coast, Mr. America, Mr. Olympia. What if I don't win? Of course you'll win. You know, you can buy a lot of pasta for $3,000. It's okay. You go do whatever you were doing. It's my day off. If I hadn't come in to get my paycheck, there'd be nobody in here. Did the old man notice I wasn't here? I noticed. I'm sorry, David. The bank was really crowded. I owe you one. You okay? Terrific. David, I'm going to be the next king of the beach. Oh, that's great. So, see, I had to get Mandy the money so she could sign me up. You should hear her. She got great ideas. What do you think? Come on, you got an opinion. I want to hear them. You don't want my two cents worth. This Mandy, isn't it? All right, maybe I've been a little harsh on her, but I don't know that I'd trust her with my money. I know Mandy's the hustler, but it's not my entry fee she wants. She wants some glory, a piece of the new king. What if you don't win? Mandy says the only real competition is the king, and he's had it. Mandy says I can't lose. She really believes in me. Yeah, Mandy has a lot of high hopes. She's also willing to gamble with your money. So you're saying I shouldn't enter the contest? I'm just saying you ought to look at it from both sides, that's all. Suppose you don't win. Then instead of having half a restaurant, you're going to be back where you started. David, I promised my folks that if the restaurant doesn't work out this time, might come home. I can't let that happen. I've got to get to Mandy. Once she signs me up, I can't get my money back. Yeah, well, look, maybe she'll wait until you think about it, okay? You can always enter the contest tomorrow, right? Where the hell are you going? I gotta do something. Like find another job? I'm through making excuses for you. David, we gotta stop Mandy. I can't afford to lose this job, too. Yeah, I know. If I look at the hub, it'll be too late. David, help me out of this, please. <laughs> 